so in this session we are going to discuss about uh, scientific misconducts right so in the previous lecture we have discussed scientific conducts uh, link is mentioned in the description section so you can go through it and here we are going to discuss about scientific misconduct so scientific misconducts uh, basically they refer actions or the behaviors actions or the behaviors basically uh, that uh, violate uh, that violates ethical principles and standards in scientific research basically three major forms of scientific misconducts are there one is falsification one is fabrication and one is plagiarism and commonly you can refer it as a ffp right falsification fabrication and plagiarism so let's discuss them one by one so if i talk about falsification so what do you mean by falsification very important and key term falsification involves manipulating or altering or selectively omitting research data or results to present a false or misleading representation of this finding so whatever research work you have done if you are manipulating the data for your personal gain or in the pressure of or in the influence of someone or if you are altering the data or if you are selectively omitting some kind of uh, data uh, research data which 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 may create some kind of ambiguity or biasness in that so all these terms are under falsification right so you should not have to do it because it can include manipulation of data it means that you are changing the data you are deleting some data you are modifying the data points that may be uh, further uh, useful for future studies right and uh, you are your experimental results you are fitting according whatever you have make the hypothesis according to that you want to change it so it should not be like that selective reporting means you are cherry picking data or selectively reporting results that supports a particular hypothesis that you have in your mind so you want to make something that is called as bias right bias while disregarding contradictory or unfavorable findings so it should not be like that and misrepresentation of findings whatever findings you have done you are misrepresenting it misrepresentation of the significance or implications of the research findings to exaggerate their importance or impact right so these all are under falsification so basically manipulation or altering the data or making the data misleading manipulating changing and selectively omitting this kind of things all are under falsification right and if we talk about fabrication so fabrication means uh, you are deliberating inventing or creating a research data or results that do not actually exist it means that you are creating data on your own which doesn't have any kind of relevance in the world which doesn't kind of ha having any existence and you are creating the unnecessarily or you can say that unrelevant or you can say the false data this is called as fabrication right so i hope the key difference between falsification and fabrication is clear because uh, uh, what happened that many times they may ask that what is fabrication versus what is falsification right so falsification means we are misleading the data we are deleting some data we are manipulating it fabrication means on our own researchers is creating the data false data creation right so i hope the difference should be clear right okay it involves completely making up the data or results without conducting any actual results or experiments basically it includes inventing the data creating fictional data points or experimental results or observations or presenting them as a genuine research findings means false data you can say that fictitious experiments claiming to have conducted experiments or studies that never took place anywhere and including fictional methodologies data collection and analysis so you can say that just virtual data means you just making fool to the uh, uh, fool to the your audience your your readers that we have conducted this study this experiments at that but actual in actual it doesn't have taken place so fictitious experiments right and false documents fabrication supposing documents such as laboratory records or consent forms or falsify validating existence of the research that was never conducted these all are under false documents right so in fabrication you are inventing the data or fictitious experiments or false documentations are there right now plagiarism so if we talk about plagiarism uh, you basically should have um, heard this word many many times and uh, plagiarism involves presenting someone else work we or someone else ideas someone else words as your own and without proper acknowledgement or citations 
means you are using someone else work and you are not uh, giving them proper acknowledgement proper citation proper credits right these all are under plagiarism copying textual content could be part of it like you are directly copying the content from some other research paper or some other published work and pasting in your work some paragraphs or entire section or another sources right so these kind of things are under plagiarism paraphrasing without attribution means you are rewriting someone else work in your own work but you are not giving them appropriate credit this is also under paraphrasing very very bad habit it is right you must have to give them proper credit and self plagiarism means you are using your own work which is already published there or which is already the part of any publication uh, articles or publication work so uh, it should uh, not be like that right self plagiarism should not be like that because it should lead to a misleading representation of original research Re you should not have to reuse the same same research again and again right so this is about uh, ffp that is falsification fabrication and plagiarism i hope the concept is clear right so they are very serious breaches of research integrity and can have far reaching consequences so they undermine the reliability credibility and trust in scientific research it is very essential for researchers to uphold the principles of intellectual honesty which we have discussed in previous lecture transparency and responsible conduct to prevent and uh, address instances of ffp right ensuring the integrity of the scientific process so i hope guys whatever we have discussed in this uh, lecture scientific conduct and scientific misconducts are very much clear i hope the complete detail the content is very good from us if you are having any doubt confusion queries suggestions please feel free to be interactive with us in the comment section please stay tuned in our next lectures we are going to come up with some more new topics of uh, uh, scientific research and ethics and definitely are going to get some more lectures on other topics as well so do subscribe hit the like button stay tuned and guys definitely please share it with your colleagues so that they also going to get some important sessions on research have a nice day jai hind jai bharat